Hey guys, Sven here from United Gozos. We did it again. Top 32 at the German Nationals. I played uh, Tempai. And uh, yeah, let's uh, hope to the Dekofa. And here are the prizes. Huh? Your prizes. Oh yeah, yeah. the prizes. But nothing special, to be fair. So, I played Tempai because I'm the most comfortable with the deck. And um, yeah, so three pi drop, three chundra, two fadra, all standard, standard, four field spells, no set rotation, three kaimen, three pots, standard. Nothing special on this. Let's hop into the more specific part of the deck. Like the hand trap build with no Fenrir. Because I do want to see more hand traps, and Fenrir is a. Uh, yeah. In a couple of situations, it's insane. In a couple of situations, it's just bad or just does do nothing. And if you have hand traps, it's always, always at least good. So free Ash mandatory, free Wailer mandatory, free impermanence. Play the Drolds because they are the best hand trap right now. Because everyone plays cash cards, if he activates a field spell and you draw him, then he can basically scoop the game. Two mono for the Snake Eye matchup, and uh, two Ogre because they're kind of versatile right now, and for the mirror match, it's obviously insane. Last cards are three Droplets. Droplet by itself out the Snake Eye endboard, um, two Lightning Storms, because Skill Drain in main deck gets more popular and popular and uh, having it is always at least a one for one trade to Appaloosa or stuff like that so this was really nice and the last card is Corbin Grave. Corbin Grave was the MVP of the whole deck I tell you it's um, there are two situations the one situation is the offensive one you try to push for game with just one engine like you just have one field spell or one time and or uh, one Pydra, stuff like that, and uh, call this the out for the Ash from the opponent, like cross out could also do, but in the defensive way, you can banish Princess, you can banish Flamberge, in the mirror match, you can banish Seal, which is insane, it's just FTK. He, he activates Seal, you chain with Call the Grave, game two. Also, it's simple like that. So this was by far the best choice to play Cold by Grave in the main. I know it's a one-off, so you don't see it often, but if you see it, it's always insane. So that's it for the main deck. Um, quick look into the extra deck, nothing fancy, to be fair. It's Seal, Princess, Heater, SP, Striker. Uh, sometimes this comes up, but in very rare situations, um, this is mandatory, obviously. Then I decided to play two Bident and two Transcendent because of all the unicorns, and I don't want to give him the free banish on my Transcendent, so I played two. In that case, most of the times the unicorn banished Trident, and this just barely does anything. So 2-2 two -two was obviously a, a nice decision. A ruddy if you can't OTK, Snake Eye and Banish the Grave and afterwards you go into Seal should also be enough in most cases then try that mandatory. Uh, Q-Belt, I did this a couple times always really versatile against back row to pop your own cards um, you can pop a back row and chain droplets um, under skill drain etc etc a really good card. Oda is um, mandatory, Black Row is mandatory and last card is Fairy Dragon I also won one game in time with Fairy Dragon to be fair, so it, it was quite uh, enough to play him. And uh, the other reason why I played him is my sideboard. I played Village for Runic decks, and if you have Fairy Dragon and Village, then game two is always FTK. There's no way there's an out to Secret Village. So it's just one spot in the extra deck to have one free game against every Runic deck, so why not? So last but not least, the Isha village, as I said, two cyclones and uh, rivalry. Those are the free cards I bought against uh, fire decks. I 
snake I only give those three cards first or second just those three and that's uh, quite enough then there's shifter shifters for branded for voice layers etc etc and if you play against the board breaker build of snake eye then they let you go first so you have bought the shifter additional uh, drago for every light dark matchup and if you go first or if you go second you can also board it because if you can't otk him you end on seal and then this is also enough cross out is mainly for the mirror match barrier is against nearly everything in the whole meta except snake eye and fragrance is also the going first card for brand the voiceless because you can't uh, yeah you, you have to go first against uh, branded voiceless and uh, other scary matchups and then fragrances also have to take it and also again in the mirror match so that's it i hope you enjoyed it um we made four top cuts at the german nationals from united Cosos, and uh, yeah as i said in dortmund we're back on track